while others day is almost here. And you know how dads have their own quirky, unique way of parenting? Well, we'll be applying a combination of creativity and laziness to the breakfast classic, Eggs Benedict. We're gonna be calling it... The Eggs Benedict. Dads have done so much for us over the years. They put a roof over our head, they taught us sports, they slapped us with the back of the ring hand every time we didn't get an A on the math test. Really? Just mine? Okay. And great dads deserve an even greater breakfast this Father's Day. So let us begin on the Manly Benedict. Just let me repress a memory really quickly. Okay, let's go. As I said earlier, the Manly Benedict is my take on Eggs Benedict. I invented this dish when I was just too lazy to make Eggs Benedict. And by lazy, I mean I sucked at poaching eggs. The Manly Benedict has five layers of breakfasty goodness. Hash browns, ham steak, bacon, basted eggs, and hollandaise sauce. Let's start with the hash browns. Now for the hash browns, take two average size or one really freaking big russet potato. Wash and peel them. And just uh, take a cheese grater and grate these. All right, once they're all grated, dump the shreds into a pasta strainer and just rinse them off in cold water. Then fill up a large bowl with cold water. Place our potato shreds in here so they don't brown. So grab a medium sized skillet, set it over medium heat, and fill in a couple of teaspoons of oil. Once it heats up after a few minutes, toss in our hash browns. Once the hash browns are in, spread them out a bit. Make sure it's not too thick, but not too thin. Uh, something like this. Then let it cook and give it a flip every couple minutes. And after 10 minutes, it should be done. Once it's done, just transfer it to a plate. Now that we're done with the hash browns, the next layer, ham steak. Cooking this is pretty simple. Just sear it on both sides, then place it on top of the hash browns. And for the next layer, bacon. Thick cut bacon, that is. And here's the thing, instead of frying it in the pan, in the oven. Set the oven's broiler to high. Now take an aluminum bacon sheet and cover it with foil. And just take our bacon and just lay them out side by side. Now place our bacon in the middle of our oven. Check on it every couple of moments. Once the bacon begins to curl, flip them over. Lay go for another two minutes and flip them over one more time. Let it go for one more minute and they should be done. Once they're done, take about four strips of bacon and place them on what will eventually be our Benedict. And since you're a kick-ass son, reward yourself with the leftover bacon strips. Now for the next layer, eggs. You want the egg yolks to be nice and runny, but poaching and frying them can be a bit messy, so we're gonna baste them. Now let's crack three eggs into a small stainless steel bowl. Uh, make sure the yolk doesn't break. And let's season our eggs with a bit of salt and some pepper. In a small non-stick saucepan, melt a pad of unsalted butter over medium heat, to which we'll add the eggs. Then add a tablespoon of water, reduce the heat to low, slap on a lid, and let it cook for about two to three minutes. Afterwards, with the help of a rubber spatula, just slide it on top of our meat and potatoes. For the final layer, the hollandaise sauce. Add two egg yolks to a medium-sized bowl. Sprinkle in a pinch of salt. One tablespoon of lemon juice. And a quick little dash of cayenne pepper. Whisk it all together. And finally, add one stick of butter cubed. Put our bowl over low heat and continue to whisk even as the butter melts into the egg yolk. Once the butter emulsifies into our egg yolk, continue to whisk. Once the whisk creates some tracing in our hollandaise, that's when it's ready. So take it off the heat and spoon just enough of it onto our Benedict. And here we go folks, a lovely plate of meat and potatoes ready for dad to consume. Mm. 
Oh yeah, my dad died 10 years ago. Oh well, waste not, want not. This has been Jay's Cut in the Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time.